Hey there everybody, welcome back to my channel. Tracy here from NoBadgeLeftBlank.wordpress.com and I have something brand new to my channel today. This is my very first ever pop in a box. It's huge. <laughs> it's beat up. My husband was into it so that's why the tape is all off and everything. It doesn't look like it was shipped very well, does it? Anyway. <laughs> Bit of information what pop in a box is it's a service that started in the UK and they recently just started it in the US as well and what you do you go onto the website you sign up they have a website that shows every Funko Pop plus uh, the reaction figures and everything but basically you're looking at the Funko Pops you go through and you tell the website every pop that you already own then you can subscribe to the service and you can pick between 1 and 12 pops a month and they will look at your list of what you already have they will never send you one that you already have then they pick between 1 and 12 depending on what you chose and they will send you pops in the mail every month it's a pretty cool service just to go and do it a bit further when you are going through the website and you pick all the pops that you already have, you can also thumbs up or thumbs down pops. A thumbs up pop goes on your wish list. So this way the, the people that choose the pops that come to you every month, they can look at that list and say, oh hey, we have that pop available right now, it's on this person's wish list, that person is getting this pop. So that's pretty cool, it gives you a little bit of an extra control on what you might like to get. If you thumbs down a pop, you will never ever receive that pop in the mail. So that's really important because there are so many pops out there and I for instance don't want any sports pops. Uh, there's certain TV shows like I never want to get like the, the you know Orange is the New Black and you know things like that. I don't want the Friends pops. I don't want you know there's a lot of different shows that I would never want the pops. Um, because it's just going to clutter up an already cluttered shelf. So it's pretty cool. You can go through thumbs up what you want, thumbs down what you never want to get, and they actually look at that information when they are packing your box for the month. So it's pretty awesome. And I had known about this for a while because some of the YouTubers I subscribe to get it. But where I'm in Canada, and it was only in the UK before, the shipping was just ridiculous. It wasn't worth it, basically. So I just kind of set that one aside and didn't think much of it. But recently, they started shipping out of the US as well. So my husband, for a Christmas present, decided to sign me up for this service. And I was pretty excited because it's awesome. Um, we worked it out and even with the Canadian dollar being really crappy right now, um, what we're paying for the service still works out to something like $12 a pop and I generally spend between 13 and 15 on a pop anyway if I were to find it in a store. So right now even with the Canadian dollar being crap, it works out to I'm not spending any more put it that way. I'm getting 12 pops a month and not spending any more than I would if I went into a store and bought them. So it'll be really great if the dollar goes back up <laughs> and I'll be getting the pops for actually significantly cheaper than I would pay for them in store. So keep my fingers crossed on that one. Let's actually take a look and see what I got. Uh, my husband and daughter were already into it. I know at least one pop because my daughter got excited and <laughs> shouted it out. But I'm going to kind of blindly reach in and grab one at a time so that, you know, you guys know I don't actually know everything that's in here. <laughs> and we did actually sign up for the 12 pop a month service because one, we're crazy, <laughs> two, it was the most cost effective, like it works out to the best price uh, for us. Based on the fact that I generally seem to buy 12 pops a month anyway. <laughs> So, I'm just going to try to stop buying them in stores and, and stick to this, so. Anyway, let's actually look at what I got. So the first one is Star Wars. 
And it is Nalan Chiel from the band that is playing in Tatooine in Mos Eisley. So that's pretty cool. First one I got is a Star Wars one. Kind of actually expected <laughs> because there are so many Star Wars ones and there's a surprising number that I don't have because there are so many so and I did thumbs up these guys. So there he is, Nalan Chiel playing some kind of funky instrument. Pretty cool. That is my first pop in a box. Second one is also Star Wars. And it is Unmasked Vader. <laughs> and this is pretty cool because uh, if you watched my most recent nerd block video, they had a Funko in that box and you could have gotten a Luke, uh, a TIE Fighter pilot, or this pop. So I'm glad now that I didn't get this one because here it is. There he is. Unmasked Vader. Some good detail on like the scars on his head and the um, breathing apparatus and all that kind of thing. Pretty sweet. My first two out of twelve. Both Star Wars. <laughs> Next one is... Oh man. <laughs> of all the Marvel ones to send, Howard the Duck. <laughs> this is pretty cool, actually. <laughs> um, it was several months ago now, but my husband and I not that long ago uh, watched Tower of the Duck, the old movie, just to, you know, re-familiarize ourselves with the character and that. <laughs> there he is, in all of his duckish glory. Good job on the head, the feathers and everything. That's, that's funny. <laughs> I just, I'm laughing because of all the Marvel characters they picked to send me Howard the Duck. Next we have another Star Wars one. <laughs> and it is one of the ones from the Force Awakens line that I had not actually picked up. It is Poe Dimron. I guess I'm spelling, saying that right. So that's pretty cool. He's one of only like... Well, there were a few that I didn't pick up, so... Anyway, there you go. So there you go. I don't know when this video will go up, but as of the filming of the video, I have not yet seen the movie. Um, so I don't really know anything about this character, but he is obviously a rebel. And pretty cool outfit. Nice detail on the helmet and everything. I like it. And I'm, I'm, I'm impressed because I'm getting a wide variety. Like I got, I got three Star Wars one so far, but one of them is from A New Hope, one of them is from Return of the Jedi, and one of them is from Force Awakens, so there is a wide variety so far. Next we have another Star Wars one. So I've grabbed five so far, and four out of the five are Star Wars. So this is the TIE Fighter pilot from the original movies, and Humorously enough, if you were paying paying attention when I opened Unmasked Vader, this was the third one that I could have possibly gotten in the nerd block. So now I've got them all anyway. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Good bit of detail on the helmet. He's mostly flat black, but a fair bit of detail and the imperial symbol on the top of the helmet and everything, so pretty awesome. So many Star Wars ones. <laughs> Next we have... Doctor Who. And it is the 11th Doctor. Uh, this is one of the only ones from the original line that I don't have because I didn't bother to pick it up because I have... I have now like three exclusive <laughs> versions of the 11th Doctor. But of course, 
It's not bad to have the original one as well. Especially since... You guys hear that? <laughs> the original one has... He's holding the sonic screwdriver, so... Pretty cool. Did not have him, obviously, because I got sent it in a pop in a box, so I'm pretty happy with that. I finally have the... I mean, I could have picked him up at any time, but I kept picking up uh, exclusive ones as well instead. So. <laughs> but pretty cool that I have him now. Next is... It's a television one. It is from Supernatural, and it is Charlie. <laughs> Pretty cool. You know what? They the um, thumbs up system obviously works a bit because I think everything I've got so far was stuff that I thumbs up. Like, if you don't thumbs up or thumbs down something, you are basically saying it's okay if I get this, but I don't specifically you know want to add it to my wish list. Uh, but I think so far everything. That I've clicked is stuff that I've thumbs up, so pretty cool. I have two Deans and a Sam and a Crowley and one of the uh, Castiels, and now I have Charlie as well. So that's pretty cool. I wasn't looking specifically for Charlie because uh, she's one of those basic human characters that once she's out of the box you don't really know who she is but I will gladly accept her because she will go with my other supernatural pops. Next we have another Star Wars one <laughs> and this one my husband actually mentioned to me because I kind of flubbed on this one um, I wasn't thinking very well when I was going through and thumbs upping and thumbs downing things and I thumbs up a pop that I actually had already that had been vaulted. Um, so there he is. <laughs> that one's on me. It is the Jawa. I won't bother to take him out and show him to you because I have done so. Um, actually I don't know if I showed it to you guys because I think I had it before I started doing Funko Hauls. Um, but still, I'll just show them to you there for now because, like I said, that one's on me. I actually already have that, so. Whoops! Next we have... A Disney one. You guys know if you watched my haul, uh, my recent haul, actually my recent, most recent two hauls. <laughs> that I have started collecting the Disney stuff. God help me. And this will go very nicely with the collection. It is Maleficent, of course, and it is uh, you know, classic Disney cartoon Maleficent, not based on the new movie. And there she is with her wicked robe and big horns, green skin, staff, and she's awesome. I like her a lot. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not yet have Aurora, so she's going to be standing alone, but still, she's pretty cool, and I am happy to have gotten her. Next we have... Another Star Wars one! <laughs> this is Bib Fortuna, who you guys will know from Jabba's Palace if you are Star Wars nerds. So there you go. I think they tried to send me like the entire line of that that section of the line. So there he is. He is actually really creepy looking. Like they did a good job on the head tails and everything. I don't think he's really supposed to look creepy looking. He wasn't creepy in the movie, but just with the teeth and everything, he looks really creepy to me right there. But they did a good job on the outfit and the head tails and you know who this character is when you see him if you've watched the movies of course and if you haven't watched the movies shame 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 
Next we have Cinderella from the Cinderella movie. I just recently got the classic Disney Cinderella and this is the one from the movie so there you go. There she is all prettied up and she's got the one glass slipper sticking out under her dress there. Very nice job on the hair. Very cute. Very nice. Um, I did enjoy the movie um, but I feel like if you stood her by herself on a shelf just like some of the other more plain human characters I don't know if you would really guess who she was. So I'm going to stand her right next to my classic Disney Cinderella so that you can actually get some kind of a guess as to who she is. And finally, I think this is the last one, yeah, finally we have one more Disney one. And it's the one my daughter got so excited about. It is Tiana and she comes with the little Prince Naveen frog. So. That's pretty cute. I almost picked her up a couple times, so obviously I'm glad that I didn't now. <laughs> so there she is. A surprising amount of detail on the dress and a very good job on the hair as well. I like her a lot. And there is the little Prince Naveen frog who goes with her. My daughter loves all the Disney princesses and of course, so she was very excited to see Tiana in there. So there you go, pretty cool. So there you go, that was my first pop in a box, 12 pops per month. <laughs> it's gonna add up pretty quickly, but then again I buy that many normally anyway, so pretend I didn't say anything. <laughs> I am pretty impressed so far, uh, I mean we did have to wait quite a while for this first one to show up, but I am very happy with what I got uh, because obviously they pay attention to the thumbs up stuff. I don't think I got anything that hasn't been thumbs up. Um, I thumbs up the entire Star Wars collection, the entire Marvel collection, the entire Disney collection, I think the entire... I may have not thumbs up all of the Disney stuff, but all of the princesses and everything. So I'm pretty sure everything I have is stuff that I thumbs up, so that is pretty cool. It shows that they really do pay attention to that stuff. Um, and of course I didn't get anything that I thumbs down because that is their guarantee. Um, I should also mention that it is possible, um, obviously the likelihood is very low, but it is possible to get exclusives and rare stuff in these boxes if they happen to have them to give away that month. Um, you shouldn't expect it because obviously they're going to have a lot more of the basic common stuff. But it is possible that every now and then an exclusive or something that's rare might pop up. So that's something to look forward to. Quick recap. From Disney I got Princess Tiana with the Prince Naveen frog. Cinderella from the newer Cinderella movie. And Maleficent from original Sleeping Beauty. From Supernatural I got Charlie which is pretty cool. From Doctor Who I got the basic 11th Doctor, who I didn't actually have, obviously. From Marvel I got Howard the Duck, too funny. <laughs> and from Star Wars I got the Jawa, which is actually unfortunate but it's my own fault, I accidentally thumbs him up. Got Nalan Chil from the band in Maz Eisley. Got Bib Fortuna from Jabba's Palace. Unmasked Vader, pretty awesome. TIE Fighter Pilot, also pretty awesome. And Poe Dameron from The Force Awakens. So that is all pretty sweet. I'm really happy with the first box. It is really unfortunate that I ended up getting that stupid Jawa because I accidentally thumbs it up. Of all the things they had to pick from, they picked the one that I screwed up on. Um, but anyway, it is, it's a pretty awesome service if you are a Funko fanatic like me. 
and if you're interested in yourself I'll have some information in the description box below. There is also a link down there. If you click on that link when you sign up you will get 5% off your first order and you'll be helping me out. So consider that please if you are thinking about looking into Pop in a Box. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please leave me a comment below telling me what you thought of this first pop a box from the US. Pretty new service, they've only been uh, doing it out of the US for a couple of months, so let me know what you thought of what I got, what kind of stuff you would hope to get in your box, and definitely check out that link below if you are interested in signing up because you can get 5% off your first order and that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.